It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Akasha Project in Australia. And this is a kind of their Eclipse IPA. It's coming in at 6.8% ABV in a 375 milliliter can. Looks really good. Uh, certified independent Australian craft beer. Many, many thanks to Mick in Australia for sending us the beer. I'm really looking forward to getting into this. So, without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Give it a swirl. Give the can a swirl and get the if there is any sediment in the can, it's going to make its way then into the glass. A two finger a white head. One to two finger, I suppose. Uh, good levels of carbonation. Slightly hazy, amber coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Wow. From the level of sweetness to the level of hoppiness in this beer, it's just, it's incredible. <sighs> it's got a candied sugar, candied fruit aroma to it. orange and, and lemon and then sweetness and, and light kind of crisp malts coming through. Lemony and a touch of spiciness and a slight herbalness about the aroma. It smells fantastic. Cheers Mick, thank you very much. Wow, a Kasha project. They used to be called a Kasha Brewing Company. Uh, Mick tells me they've changed their whole brand in their whole name. I think this is the name for their kind of side project beers. You know, the beers that like the, your one off beers type of thing. I think they're still called. Yeah, a Kasha Brewing Company. It's still a Kasha Brewing Company. So this is their project series of beers. That's strange. There it is. There it is. really good there's lemon there's lime there's spiciness there's there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end it's grapefruity pine needle you get that kind of sweet biscuit malt like you can hear the carbonation as well it's a nicely Nicely carbonated beer. Um, it's very much like the, the breadiness in the beer. It's like walking through a, a French village. Walking through the lanes to a French village out in the country. And you get to this village and you can smell that, it, you know, especially if you go to a French village in the morning, those freshly baked baguettes where, you know, you, you, you pick them up and it's still warm. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like that in the world, that experience of picking up a, a, a still warm, freshly baked baguette with that 
lovely kind of bready, bready aroma. You're getting that kind of the freshness from the malt, real good quality malts in the beer, and that kind of biscuity kind of breadiness with, with quite a bit of sweetness in it as well. There is a lot of sweetness in the beer. It's got a, the amount of hops in the beer, it's quite a, a sticky kind of, you can feel the hops on your, on your lips. I was thinking of the word then for what I was just touching. <laughs> you can feel the, the, the hops on the lips, you can feel that stickiness on the lips. And you can feel the stickiness as the beer sticks around the inside of the mouth and, and releases more of that kind of hop flavour. It's a tremendous, another tremendous beer by Akasha Project. Look at, look at, I've drunk some of the beer now. Have a look as I rock the beer back and forth. Look at that carbonation chasing the head up the glass. Really, really good, good quality beer. <coughs> okay, 6.8% uh, ABV. Partake in a fresh flavour genesis with the eclipse a shining hop halo of mandarin citrus peel and pine notes captivates the palate closing out with a refreshing dry finish that will have you enthralled by its precise alignment of beer's universal elements i'll tell you what they're talking about there they're talking about the elements the kind of the sweetness over there and the bitterness on the back end, that lovely balanced kind of feel about the beer. And then the flavours of the, the malts and the, and the hops combining to, to, yeah, to just come together as elements and produce a fantastic, fantastic beer. It really is very, very good. Um, brewed and canned by Akasha Brewing Company, Spencer Street, Five Dock, New South Wales. Five Dock in Sydney. HPA. Tell you what, the Australians are very proud of, of you know, independent breweries. HPA, hops from Australia. Fantastic kind of achievements there. I'm going to rate this beer. I'm going to rate it. It really is very, very good. Hoppy, citrusy, balanced, top quality brew. I like that enough to give it a stone the crows, 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.